Oh, we had kind of a soggy end to the Mother's Day week. How was Mother's Day there, KG? It was fantastic. I was pampered all day, and then my husband <laughs> fell asleep halfway through it because he was so tired. Imagine that, <laughs> what we women go through. He couldn't handle all day Mother's Day. But uh, we want to get over to Ben. Uh, he's got our forecast. Chilly night ahead, Ben. Yeah, uh, we, and we've done it in the not too recent past here, just Saturday night uh, or Sunday morning, I should say. We did it uh, as well, Saturday morning, I should say. Uh, but we are going to be seeing another record low as we head into tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning. And it looks like uh, those numbers are going to be in the 20s area wide. That's why freeze warnings are out for the entire area. Uh, this starts at midnight tonight till 9 a.m. So the takeaway here is if you've got plants that uh, can't handle those temperatures and you really want them to survive, go cover them up or bring them in the house as we head towards those cold temperatures tonight. Here's a look at current temperatures, mid 40s across the area. We're going to be seeing those winds, which are noticeable out there right now, giving us wind chills that are in the 30s in some cases. Uh, definitely going to take a bite of how it feels. Four Live Radar had some sprinkles earlier. Uh, those have all passed us, and uh, we're looking at dry conditions for the rest of the night, and the clouds starting to leave us too. But at least this was rain and not snow. Uh, what we saw over the weekend, five tenths of an inch, half of an inch, that was the largest snowfall for the day, setting a daily record, and it actually already tied us for the fourth snowiest May on record. Uh, and that was uh, tied there with 1902, so it didn't take much, uh, but we're in the top five. Hopefully, we won't get any higher up that list. We do have rain in the forecast, though, as we head towards the end of the week. This is Thursday, by the way. Showers, few thunderstorms possible, and it looks like a good bit of Thursday is going to be covered with rain. Some of that's going to linger into Friday as well. And then as we take a look at temperatures going forward, we're going to see those numbers start to go up. 60 degrees on the high side tomorrow. Breezy conditions, plenty of sunshine. But the lows will be the story. We're looking at 29 in Romulus, and that will break the record of 32 if we get there. South zone lows, pretty much the same goes here, upper 20s to around 30 degrees. Maybe a little bit more of a spread depending on how much cloud cover shows up. 29 in Flint, 30 in Chelsea, 31 in Manchester. And those north zone lows tomorrow, upper 20s to the low 30s is what we're expecting. So here is your seven-day forecast. And you can see as we head towards the end there, uh, temperatures ramping up into the 70s as we head into Monday. What you don't see on the forecast, uh, if we had to put Wednesday in there, that is the number we would come up with. Believe it or not, 80 degrees is what we're forecasting for the middle of the week. Thursday will be the same. Uh, if you don't believe me, go to the local forecasters app. Check out the 10-day forecast there. And you can see all of those good numbers. Mm -hmm. A lot Love different it. than what we're Something to cling to. Yeah. yeah, indeed. All right, Ben, thank yeah. you. All right.